Imagine what it would be like at the border. Mere yards away from Russia and Belarus. That's the border we're talking about. That's where we went today, the border check post of St. Kivka, Ukraine's first line of defense against the Russian troops in Belarus. If St. Kivka falls, it's a highway to Kiev. So what is Ukraine doing to firm up its gates? Our next report tells you. The Russian war machine is digging in. No trenches or half measures. This is a full-blooded deployment. They've brought missiles, tanks, artillery guns. One command and they could swoop into Ukraine. All that firepower is deployed along this belt, the border between Ukraine and Belarus. Around 1,000 kilometers long, and right now, a powder keg. Dotting this border are a number of check posts. On normal days, they service trucks and containers. Today, they are on the lookout for tanks. We are traveling to one such border post, St. Kivka. I'm standing at the St. Kivka border crossing. It's a hot spot in the Ukraine conflict. If Russia invades Ukraine, this place where I'm standing will be the site of the opening battle because this checkpoint straddles three borders. To my right is Belarus, to my left is Russia, and in front of me is Ukraine. This tri-junction is where three cultures meet, Russian, Ukrainian, and Belarusian. In 1975, that bond was sealed in steel. A monument was erected for the three Soviet sisters, a monument of friendship. Every year, this bond is celebrated with festivities. Will they happen this year? That depends on what happens beyond these barbed wires. A few border guards have accompanied us here, to the gates of Ukraine. Beyond them is Russia. I'm standing at Ukraine's border with Russia. Behind me, you see Russian territory. On the other side of this border, we know that Russia is conducting military drills with Belarus. They have S-400 missile systems, Su-35 fighter jets, Iskander missiles, tanks, and about 30,000 troops of the Russian army. Uh, their defense minister, the right-hand man of Vladimir Putin, is in Belarus to oversee these military drills. On this side of the border, though, on the Ukrainian side, you do not see that kind of military buildup. You see vast stretches of snow in the countryside. Uh, but the guards here say that they're prepared for whatever comes their way. A former defense minister of Ukraine has said that the 600 mile long border that Ukraine shares with Belarus is a high risk zone. This is tricky terrain, a cloggy mix of snow and mud. You would think it's a nightmare to fight here and you would be wrong. The Russians love frozen battlegrounds. The colder, the better. For us though, cold isn't the only worry. The border guards have an ominous warning. Below this thick layer of snow are landmines. Stepping on them could be the last thing you do. Mines navigated, one thing strikes our eye. For a border post, Senkivka isn't exactly a fortress. You do see soldiers trudging about, but nothing like the mobilization on the other side. No battalions marching in the snow, no tanks rolling through the mud. Where exactly is the Ukrainian war machine? Perhaps in Donbas, Ukrainian tanks and troops are majorly deployed in the east. Strategically, it is a worry. If St. Kivka is breached, it's an open road to Kiev. A highway awaits Russian tanks and armored vehicles. It's a daunting thought, one that these border guards are aware of. We are professional soldiers. We understand we are on the first line of Ukraine's defense near the border. Here we cooperate with foreign militaries. Our job is to offer Ukraine's first line of protection. Equally stark are these cargo trucks. Dozens of them waiting to cross over into Russia and Belarus. I guess war or not, business rolls on. A few more security checks, a bit more delay, but that's about it. 
From Senkivka, these trucks have a long journey to make all the way down to Turkey and Moldova. That makes this border post a transit hub, a big prize if war breaks out. Everything. Contemplating that if are the people of this village. It's the last settlement of Ukrainian territory. If Russia invades, they're first in line. The mood here reflects that intensity. But not everyone wants to talk about it. We are in the village of St. Kievka, the northernmost village closest to the border of Ukraine, home to 150-odd people who are now in the line of fire. They're nervous, they're tense, but they do not want to talk about the possibility of a war with Russia. Perhaps ignorance is bliss, but soon these people may not have that luxury. Beyond the thick snow and the barbed wires, an army is waiting for them. An army far superior in numbers and training. If they attack, chances are Senkivka will fall. It will lose its calm and quiet resolve. But that's still in the future. For now, this town is a living monument to something already lost. The sisterhood between three Soviet peoples. With the Vion team in Ukraine, this is Palki Sharma Upadhyay from the world's most tense border. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.